Oh, this is just the most redneck thing you can do. This is just family event coming out here and smashing cars. Dan Pies is driving like a man on a mission. High flying dirt hitting us in torrents. And somehow I've got the best seat, which is why I'm holding on for dear life as we slide sideways around the turns. Dan is the big boy in the club. Even though that car feels like it's sliding around, he is in full control of it. That's why Dan and his 74 Cadillac Coupe de Ville are the favorites this season. Dan has been driving for more than 30 years. Nobody can take a curve tighter. Best strategy is don't get hit, but uh, sometimes you gotta be a little bit more aggressive, and uh, sometimes you get, there's a lot of luck involved. Of course, luck comes in two flavors, good and bad. That was self-inflicted right there. Among the drivers Dan's facing this season is Dylan Ensor, a fourth generation racer. You know, sometimes you're not expecting it, you'll get a big hit and you know, it'll shake you pretty good. Why am I doing this? Because it's fun. All strapped in, helmet fastened, I joined Dan for a solo heat race. We're just going twice around in an oval, but look at how much work it takes to make all those left turns. The fastest time of the day. Okay, my heart is still racing right now. The car hasn't been racing for a full minute. My heart is still racing. And we're not done. The driver with the fastest time always starts at the back. If he passes everyone, it's called a hat trick. We're gonna go ahead and wait for everybody else to get uh, bottled up in the front and we're gonna go around them. It's a plan that works to perfection. But remember, luck can change. 40 minutes later, Dan loses a tire in the same car I'd been in, and Dylan Ensor plows into it. So when I got spun out, that tire dug in, and the other cars pushing on me just pushed it right over. I believe we need some medical assistance out here with this one. Actually, everything's OK, except Dan's Cadillac. Your car's pretty low, so I was like, I didn't expect to go over like that. And I'm sorry. Oh, it's all good. And I feel bad about your car. Like, I know you're okay and everything, but the car. <laughs> it may not look like much more than scrap metal now, but you can bet Dan's Cadillac will return, kicking up dirt on its way back to the front of the line.